almost everyone assumed that as soon as Meghan Markle dumped Harry, she would find a new host to latch on to and leave Harry behind. That's what it did to Corey and Trevor. Now the last thing he needs to get out. Harry is in a divorce settlement and with his spending habits that won't last very long, and it looks like Meghan is done with Harry. She's not interested in him anymore and it looks like she's finally found out that he was into a lot of drugs and feels betrayed because when she went to the royal family before she fell in love with Harry they neglected to inform her of her love for marijuana despite her telling them the very fact conditionally. Guess William tried to tell him what he looks like, encouraged him to take things slow and easy. Meghan insisted she was deeply in love with Harry and he was her meal ticket and that's when the royals started to see Meghan for who she really is. I guess that's when they started to realize that you can take the girl off the yacht, but you can't take the yacht off the girl. I don't believe for a second that Meghan ever really liked Harry. She was just using it to make herself look better in order to get more fame and fortune, which obviously didn't pay off. And oh one in Hollywood can bear to have him around. Megan never cared about keeping friends and her notoriety is legendary. I can't remember anyone who got so much media attention and sparked so much curiosity in my life and you know what? I'm old enough but I guess Megan achieved her goal of world fame but not the adoration that was EXP. I don't know if you've ever lived with a daffodil, I hope not, but they do everything they can to control you, including being violent to make sure you do everything they tell you. It won't be easy for Harry to break free if Meghan isn't the one you want. He wants to leave, and I don't think Meghan will find it very easy to move on this time either. She's much older, past her prime when it comes to looks, and has likely already been taken in by her billionaire goals family. I'm talking about the Getty family. Of course, people know what they are doing. Fame and notoriety in the world is truly a double-edged sword, from now on, the very rich will undoubtedly want her to be younger than her and also much more discreet than her. And those who don't will likely have families who don't want their share of willpower taken away to survive. But you know what? I don't feel sorry for her because she destroyed her chances of fame and fortune with her greed and horrible behavior that will always precede her reputation for doing things her way. And boy, that was a big mistake and Megan really isn't stupid though. She's just a narcissist and her narcissism encourages her to see that people hate her, but she can't understand why, and she can't even accept it. Apparently, many psychiatrists describe narcissism as a hard edge, a different way of thinking that evolved in the person from an early age as a defense mechanism. You see, Megan truly believes that she is actually that lovely person she cares about. She is caring, she loves. Now, if her narcissism allowed her to doubt herself about this, it wouldn't do her job, she can actually handle being hated just fine, they assume that we just don't understand them, and of course they will accuse their enemies of being just mean and racist, misogynistic. Anything. If they can't change other people's opinions they will reject them completely, they will also ration jealousy, it's just an offensive deflection and dismissal, but they can still attack with a pity play or maybe a campaign of defamation. Even the waves, a peak can simply be repelled. The only things they really overcome are being ignored and being teased, seeing if they are being teased, which gets to the bottom of the insecurities that narcissism is involved in protecting, critics can easily be deflected or defended, but ridicule is another story, and if the narcissist is the one ignoring someone, well, it's a power play, he's in control, but if it's someone one who ignores it, he pushes it. Mad. You see, narcissism is mostly reactive and defensive, but they're also incredibly alert to threats, and there's nothing more upsetting about their paranoia than someone who's suddenly gone silent. Now. Another factor in all of this is apparently that her dad is also narcissistic, and she was the golden child, meaning she was too spoiled and in some cases we even neglected her. It was probably a gift for her, but also a way to show her what an important person he was, Narcissists often see their children as extensions of themselves, and therefore end up living vicariously through them and their relationship probably fell apart because Megan's narcissism developed further and that she wanted to claim her own successes for herself and she wanted him to be pushed into the background. Well, she's not running a front like Megan does. Instead, he goes back and forth between being hurt and vengeful. 
He's also quite tall and important to be honest and he was smiling that at least he knew a wedding guest list for her because he had worked with them, which is way more than she had. I mean, the dissonance and manipulations are much more apparent in him, which is why few people feel sorry for him now that I've heard about it too, there are a lot of videos on talk. I don't know why I don't use tea, but I heard there are a ton of TikTok videos posted claiming Prince William is divorcing Catherine. So these videos say William is leaving Catherine for Rose Hanbury. Okay, I think we all know who is behind this mega Markel and paid PR obviously, it's his fault, his signature is written all over it, and they're following the classic misdirection, this is just another example of the things Meghan will do out of jealousy, they try to divert the honor, glory, love and adoration of William and Catherine directly onto them. But I think they're really trying to draw public attention to the state of William and Catherine's marriage while avoiding examining the precarious state of their own marriage, which I suspect is coming to a head. End. So I think if they get to the carnation it will be the final nail in their coffins and all the hate and abuse and revulsion they receive from the British people and neglect from Harry's family will be more than enough for them. Believe Meghan is much better off without Harry's responsibility and will throw it all away for an aging billionaire who can give her the lifestyle she wants without the distraction of having to tend to her needs. And I think Harry is also so jealous of his older brother that he helped start that rumor. And everyone knows the truth, I mean between Harry and King Charles. They make Prince William look like an absolute saint. Harry is a cheater and so apparently at Wimbledon. Meghan Markle even slept with Serena Williams' husband and it was right after she and Harriet got married. One of the people who spread this rumor about the Rose Hanbury case, Giles Corrin, has publicly admitted that the rumors were entirely made up by him and were not true. He admitted it in Robert Lacey's new book. Thank goodness for that. I mean there are two families with young children and they were publicly dragged through the mud just for this. Tweeted by him. Now I'm glad that at least now these kids don't have to read these baseless claims about their parents and figure out that people would still believe the conspiracy theories about these rose rumors like for me by Giles Rand says the truth in the mainstream. Also, who is he friends with, none other than you? What do you think of them? Keep chatting with us below in the comments section and subscribe to our Royal Family News Channel for more updates from our team. Don't be afraid to like and share my video if you enjoyed our video again tonight. Thanks for watching bye and I'll be back to see you all tomorrow.